Hi everybody. I'm here to talk about an upcoming CMED Reflections parallel class that I'm very excited about and I hope you will be. My dear friend Mirabai Starr has created a course that I think is so timely and so essential for all of us. It's called The Wisdom of Grief. You know, I had a I have a very good friend. Well, we all do, but this particular friend of mine called me one day and said, um, what would you say to someone who um, had chronic stomach pain and diarrhea for a year and, and he named all these other symptoms? And as I listened to him, I realized that he had lost his wife a year ago, a year prior to that. And his response to that, because of an inability to grieve, was that she had been cremated. He went and picked up her ashes, came straight back home, buried her ashes on his property, and then went back to work, put a tree on top of her ashes to note the spot, and then went right back to work. And told himself that that was his way of coping with grief, that what could he do about it? She was gone and he had to just go on, which I think is oftentimes a response we have to grief, one response. But in fact, it absorbed into his body because our biography becomes our biology. And in that way of absorbing into his body, it began to um, the grief organized his bodily response and it was draining his body of life force, literally life force. I think there are so many things that we grieve and we don't realize it. We grieve the passage of our youth. We grieve the passage of people in our lives, the endings of friendships, the endings of stages of our lives. We grieve selling our home. We, we grieve having to leave neighborhoods. And there's so much that we grieve. Grief is part of life. And I don't, I don't know that we realize how deep it runs in our system and, <clears throat> and how paralyzing it can be, how utterly paralyzing grief can be which is why when Mirabai suggested this course, I said, absolutely. I think it would be one of the most healing courses we could do. So it's a six week program and the first week is, now, now I need my glasses again, is an overview of the landscape of loss and, and it's a brilliant, brilliant introduction to what is loss and um, how we face loss and how we don't face loss and that there are stages to it. The second class is Angels Rush In. And, you know, it, she describes it, and I'm going to be talking to Mirabai. I'm going to let her do a deeper description of this course in a couple of days. But it's, she talks about the angelic support that comes into the gr stages of grief. And then the third stage is talking back to God, talking back to God. You know, why did this happen? What? Because we do that. We want reasons for why things happen as they do. The fourth stage is the monkey mind. And the stuff that happens when we go through loss and we start thinking, I should have done this, I could have done this. Why didn't I do this, right? And then she says, there's the fifth stage, the dark night of the soul. And this is something she knows so very well. She wrote a book on this. She did the translation of John of the Cross's work on dark night of the soul, something she knows intimately. And to have her explain the dark night is a very rich, rich experience because she knows it so well. And her translation of it is beautiful. And finally, 
and I love this. I love the title she chooses. Mirabai is like this poet writer. I mean, she she's this poetic soul and this extra. She's a mystic out of a monastery. This way of seeing the world. She says, forgiving reality, and isn't that the truth? When we go through loss, we have to go through this stage of accepting what's happened and moving on, moving on. You know, it's interesting. Even today, I had this conversation with a friend who mentioned someone that she knows and how bitter this person still is about an event that happened in his life that goes back 15 years. And in in this case, it was a huge financial loss, but it was also a loss of, of time in his life that was devoted to something and it didn't work out. And we grieve that. We grieve our dreams that didn't work out. We grieve the, the, the inability to accept that we had poured ourselves into something and it didn't work out. It didn't work out. It, I, I guess this subject is very tender for me because of what I've experienced even in these past few days. I was with a close friend, somebody I hadn't seen in years, and I walked away feeling very melancholy. In fact, I would have to say very grief-filled. Not the kind of grief I would I felt when I lost my cousin Marilyn, who was like a sister to me a few years ago. That's a different kind of grief. This was the kind of grief that comes from thinking this person, from seeing how tragic, how an illness can reshape someone's life. So I think this kind of course allows us to look very deeply into the m many corners of our life, our lives actually, that um, maybe we need to pay attention to one more time or not realize maybe we're still grieving in some way. And the power of acceptance, the power of what it is to be in the present moment. And I'll, I'll say something else, that in doing medical intuitive readings, I so often picked up this incredible, I don't want to call it darkness, heaviness, that's the word, heaviness around someone that I, in the early years of my career, when I was just learning this craft, I didn't identify it as grief. I thought it had to be like a physical trauma, like something, an event must have happened, but I could never sense what that was. And now I know it's grief. Yeah, now I do. Anyway, the course begins in September, back to school time, September 5th through the 21st, every Tuesday and Thursday, as is our usual uh, schedule, at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I do hope you will take a look at this class and consider joining it because it is such a healing journey. Thank you, everybody.